የኢትዮጵያ አየር መንገድ አፍሪካን ከሌሎች አግራት ጋር በማገናኘት ረገድ የሚጫወተው ሚና ቀላል የሚባል ካለ መሆኑም በላይ ያንበሳውን ድርሻ የሚወስድ ነው ለማለት ይቻላል ወደ መካከለኛው ምስራቅ ኤዥያ ሰሜን አሜሪካ ደቡብ አሜሪካና አውሮፓ መዳረሻዎቹ ሲሆኑ ላለፉት 70 አመታትም ትልቅ ግልጋሎት ሲሰጥም ቆይቷል አሁን ደግሞ ተጨማሪ አዳዲስ በረራዎችን ወደ ተለያዩ ሀገራት በፍጥነት በመጨመር አድማሱን ከማስፋቱም በላይ ሁሉንም የህብረት ሰብ ክፍል ተጠቃሚ የሚያደርግበትን ሁኔታ አንፈጥሯል ቪዥን 2025 ንም በማሳካቱ ረገድ ትልቅ ሥራ እየተወጣ ይገኛል የዚህ እቅድ አንድ አካል የሆነውን በረራ ናሲ 11 ቀን 2009 ዓ.ም ተመረጥ ወደ ባህሪን መጀመሩን በደረጃቱ ቁጥር ግቢ ባከናወነው ፕሮግራም ላይ ይፋደርጓል በፕሮግራሙ ስነ ስርዓት ላይ የኢትዮጵያ አየር መንገድ ዋና ስራስ ፈጻሚ አቶ ቶልደ ገብረ ማርያም ወደ ባህሪን የተጀመረው አዲስ በረራ የሚያስገኘው ጥቅምና ኢኮኖሚያዊ ትስስርን በተመለከተ ሐሳባቸው ገልጸው ነበር ድሬቲዩብም በቦታው ላይ ታድሞ ነበርና ተከታተሉ ዘንድ እንዲያቀርባላችሁ ሰላም ማይ ኮሊግስ ሄር ኢንቫይት ጌስትስ ሜምበርስ ኦፍ ዘ ሚዲያ አር ፓርትነርስ stakeholders around the airport first of all let me thank you all for coming all the way from your places and uh, for giving us the opportunity to celebrate with us the opening of uh, uh, many destinations now more than 103 So Bahrain is joining this evening uh, our fast network fast expanding fast network of passenger and cargo destinations um, I understand the value of time being an airline so we value your time your presence to join us this evening and we thank you once again Uh, Bahrain is an important destination in the Middle East. Uh, the joint, joining the group of destinations that we serve in the Gulf, Dubai, Doha, Kuwait, Muscat, and now Bahrain. Uh, quite significant network of presence of Ethiopian Airlines in the region. Uh, Bahrain We are resuming our service to Bahrain after uh, uh, many years. We used to fly to Bahrain. We suspended it, and now we are uh, resuming it, following the uh, growing trade, investment, and tourism relations between Bahrain and uh, mainly Ethiopia as uh, our home base and. Uh, uh, generally the continent of Africa. It is an important destination and I am told that the flight is already full for its first flight. Uh, this shows that the success of the route and uh, the trade, investment and tourism relations between the two countries and the continent of Africa and the Bahrain. Uh, more than 103 destinations Uh, all over the world and with the continent of Africa, 55 of them are in Africa. So the network is designed in such a way that it connects the continent of Africa and particularly Sub-Saharan Africa with the rest of the world uh, to South America, North America, Europe, Middle East and Asia. Uh, so today The connectivity that the air connectivity that we provide uh, to the continent of Africa uh, is vast enough to contribute in the socio-economic development of the continent. We are connecting the continent with its major trading partners in Asia, particularly in Asia, Europe, and America. And uh, the airline is continuing with with its pioneering motto of bringing Africa together and closer to the world and uh, it is increasing its market share uh, in the continent and uh, in the traffic between the continent and the rest of the world uh, so it has been growing very fast 
uh, that shows our vision 2025 was a sound strategy, a sound business model, and uh, uh, a growth strategy, which has enabled us already half of its time. We are the largest airline group in Africa today, with the largest fleet, the largest network, the largest cargo airline, the largest catering facility, and one of the largest MRO services. So, Vision 2025 seems to be uh, quite successful to the extent that most of the uh, targets that we, uh, we planned in the beginning to be completed by 2025, some of them, and most of them have been achieved. For instance, the main driver of Vision 2025 was to, to become a leading aviation group in Africa by 2025. But today we are already the leading aviation group in Africa uh, in 2016 and 2017. So uh, I think for all of us, we have been very critical, who have been very critical in the beginning of Vision 2025 because it was very ambitious, very aggressive, and who have some doubts whether it was achievable or not. Uh, when we see in retrospect respect what has been done, uh, I, do, I think uh, we can prove to ourselves that it was a sound strategy, a sound uh, ambition, and uh, a sound plan that we have achieved ahead of the planned target date. But this all is not just for the sake of growth. Growth is important in terms of size, economies of scale, and volume. Today, there are very few companies in Africa which can generate more than 2.5 billion US dollars annually. Not just airlines, but just few companies including banks in the country. So size matters a lot. Going forward, when Africa is supposed to compete in the global stage, size matters a lot. That's why a couple of months ago, or a month ago, that the, the Ethiopian government decided to integrate the Ethiopian airports enterprise in the, in the aviation group, in the Ethiopian airlines group. By doing so, uh, we have started work, important activities, not only to integrate the airport activities, but also to upgrade the services of the airport to the global standard. Whether we like it or not today, uh, Addis Ababa Airport and other airports in Ethiopia have to compete with Dubai, with Doha, with Abu Dhabi, uh, with Istanbul of Turkey, Transberg Airport in South Africa, and so on. So, the competition today is not only on the air, it's also on the ground. So for any passenger to make a choice of airlines, since all of us in the region transport passengers through our hub, the customer thinks twice before they choose an airline. For a passenger traveling from Ghana to China, the menu of choices for that customer is could be on Ethiopian Airlines through Addis, on Emirates Airlines through Dubai, or on Qatar Airways through Doha, and uh, on Turkish Airlines through Istanbul, and so on. So, when he chooses an airline, the among these airlines, he also, he or she also chooses the hub, the connecting hub, because the, expo, the air, airport experience is very important. So we have to bring airport services at our hub in Addis to global standard. By doing so, we are going to promote tourism to the country, trade and investment, because tourists become investors from experience. Trade can only grow with 
uh, air connectivity. And air connectivity depends on how they spoke, and that depends also on the hub. So that is the main uh, objective. And also to, to create the critical minimum mass of volume of business for the aviation group to compete with these huge global giants. So for anyone who has any doubt uh, in, uh, or any ambiguity in the integration, let it be very clear that the objective is to provide global standard services for our customers, for airlines, for all stakeholders, including uh, general aviation uh, uh, participants, stakeholders, and other stakeholders at the airport, concessionaires, uh, they will get better services, global standard services. And that will enable them to capture more and more global traffic, more tourism, more investment, and more traffic. So we are going to make Addis one of the best gateway to the continent. It is already uh, one of the best gateway to the continent. But the services have to cope up with the increased demand from our customers. We are now around 10 million passengers in Addis, and around 9 million of them are transported by Ethiopian airlines. And within our, with our vision 2025, that is growing 20% per annum compound. So we have to create enough capacity at the airport to accommodate this traffic. So the aim and the objective is meant to, to upgrade services, both in capacity, in expansion, and also in quality of services. So we are in the right direction, which we, is shown by the performance of the airline group it is the largest airline, the fastest growing airline, and the most profitable airline in the country. As we know, the last, the, the, the year 2016 and 2017 has been one of the most challenging years in the airline history, in, in the airline industry, in the continent. So with all the challenges, with reduced <coughs> demand for air travel, with currency problems in most African countries, where most of our funds are trapped and we cannot use it because of currency shortage. We cannot repatriate. Today, we have more than 100 million US dollars worth of Kwanzaa in, in, uh, in Angola. And this is not special to Ethiopian airlines. Almost all airlines flying to Angola have the same problem. But with all these challenges, we are still continuing with our growth as planned in our vision 2025, and we are still profitable. And profitability is very important for us because we should be able to continue to finance our growth from our internal sources. So uh, with this, I will once again uh, thank you for coming and joining us this evening to celebrate uh, let me also take the opportunity to thank the government and people of Bahrain for all the support they have given us and uh, our stakeholders in, in, uh, around at this airport, the Ethiopian Civil Aviation Authority, the Ethiopian Immigration Services, the Ethiopian Security Services, Customs, and so on. Uh, all partners, stakeholders working with us day and night uh, to make this global hub successful in, in, uh, in the region. So I take uh, the opportunity to thank all for their support. And I thank for the Ethiopian government, which has continued to support the uh, growth of the airline. And I thank you all. Thank you very much.